Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. <laughs> Essential fatty acids are something that uh, are commonly prescribed for kids on the autism spectrum. And whether it's cod liver oil or general fish oil, you know, essential fatty acids have been, become an important therapy um, for many kids to just replenish some of those depleted um, fatty acids. Now, one clinical sign, or I guess you say a physical examination sign that may show up is really thick and hard earwax. Thick and hard earwax can be an indication of some type of essential fatty acid deficiency. Now ideally, getting an essential fatty acid test would be nice to figure out what exactly is deficient. Is it primarily EPA or is it DHA or some of the omega-6 oils are deficient? You really don't know um, in, in, unless you can actually do a thorough essential fatty acid assessment. Uh, Great Plains has essential fatty acid assessments as well as some of the other labs also have that type of testing as well. And that's really the, the, the definitive answer of exactly what is deficient. Because we can assume that something is deficient, but it may not always be. However, if you're noticing or your doctor has noticed, pediatrician has noticed that your child's earwax is really hard and thick, then they probably are dealing with some type of essential fatty acid deficiency. A general easy way to go is some type of fish oil you know, product um, that has EPA and DHA in it, um, and that can be something useful to try to try to replace. Cod liver oil is also uh, generally an easy thing to give. A lot of kids get benefit. Autistic kids get benefit from cod liver oil, um, not only because of the essential fatty acid component, but many kids get benefit because of the natural vitamin A that's in that product as well. Usually a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons a day of cod liver oil seems to be uh, um, very helpful. One of the things that the cod liver oil is helpful for is many times is visual stimming. So kids just not side glancing as much as they used to. Um, a lot of the visual stimming tends to decrease. So again, from a physical examination standpoint, thick, hard earwax can be an indication of essential fatty acid deficiency. Essential fatty acid replacement therapy is appropriate in most of those situations.